In question three, we're given four cards. with the digit two, three, four, and seven. And what Lila does, she places these in order according to these instructions here. So she places a four in the tens column. She places the two, so it has the highest value than any of the other digits. And the remaining two digits, so that seven has the higher value. So there's three things we need to do. So our number is going to be a four digit number. And the first digit is always the ones digit or the units digit. Then you have the tens, then you have the hundreds digit, and then you have the thousands digit. This column's the smallest value, and this is the highest value. So we have to place the four in the tens column. And there's the tens column. We have to place the two so that it has the higher value than any of the other digits. Right, so this two has to go into one of these, which has got the highest value. And we said the column on the left is the highest value in the thousands. So that goes there. The remaining two digits, the three and the seven, so that the seven has the higher value. So the seven can either go into the ones or the units column or the hundreds column. And this is higher. So we put that there. Oh, it doesn't want to go straight. There you go. Thank you. And finally, three must go into the ones or the units column. So the number, according to Lila's instructions, is 2,743. The important thing with this question, there's a lot of writing, so you have to read each instruction or line very carefully, and then it's much easier to do. Because when you first look at it, it looks really, really difficult. 